Okay. What is up, guys? What is up, YouTube? Big news. Big news. Big news. Big news. So Android Central broke this, uh, actually, I believe it was two days ago. So that would have been on Friday. So Epic uh, Games, if you don't know, obviously they, they make Fortnite. So Fortnite is a take on kind of PUBG, and Fortnite has to be installed on mobile outside of the Google Play Store. So uh, if you don't know what that means, it means you have to click on a setting in your phone, and you have to actually allow installation from unknown sources. That means you're effectively circumventing your phone's procedures for scanning or being able to allow only official Google approved apps into the App Store. Uh, Google Play Protect is the actual uh, scanning tool that, that does all the app checking to make sure there's no malicious code in it. So, but in this case, um, it's kind of this is what we kind of expected to happen. So Google has publicly disclosed it discovered an extremely serious vulnerability in Epic's first Fortnite installer for Android that allowed any app on your phone to download and install anything in the background, including apps with full permissions granted without user knowledge. They first disclosed this privately to Epic Games on August 15th, and since released the vulnerability public, following confirmation from Epic that the vulnerability was patched. In short, this is exactly the kind of exploit that Android Central and others severely would occur. Um, so basically, this is why it's so bad. So if you go to Fortnite, you download a Fortnite installer. And the Fortnite installer is just an app that goes and actually downloads the full Fortnite game. So the Fortnite installer, they found out, was super easy to hack and basically allow you to download anything when you tap on the uh, to download the game. So it could have been a phishing attack, could have been a hacking, I mean, it could have stolen credentials, could have done any, any number of things to the device. So essentially, it's what they're calling a man-in-the-disk attack. The app on the phone... Um, looks for a request to download something from the internet and accepts that request to download something else instead. Alright, so what they found out was that the Fortnite installer was very easily to exploit, so essentially hijacking the request to download Fortnite from Epic instead of download anything when you tap the button to download the game. So the man in the disk attack is what it's called. Pretty much any other app on the device could be listening for something that particular vulnerability so another app doesn't matter what it is could be a flashlight app could be anything so that app is listening for that vulnerability so given that the for how popular the fortnite is and how insane crazy it is um, it's not past the point of feasibility that there's going to be bad guys releasing apps that look like one thing and on the other hand they're out there listening for the uh, exploit of fortnite so, and even though they say they patched it, that doesn't mean that they can patch every single vulnerability because there's over 4,000, uh, well, 2,500 vulnerabilities last I checked on Android. So, the, the, just many of them cannot be patched because the device is either too old, won't run the latest version of Android, or just the carriers refuse to release an update to patch it. So, it would not take much for a hacker to take an app, reverse engineer it using that vulnerability, and exploit something, and then it then eventually compromise the Fortnite app. So the way Android permissions work is that you have to accept the installation of the app from unknown sources. Uh, but the, what they're saying here is that uh, there's no indication during the install process that you're downloading anything other than Fortnite. And the Fortnite installer has no knowledge either. So in the background, an entirely different app is being installed. So this, this happens all the time with other apps the malware that will serve ads or, or install crypto mining uh, malware or all different kinds of things that it can do. Um, and that's just that's, that's just the nature of the beast. Just, it could be doing anything. So right now, Fortnite is only on mostly Samsung phones. Um, but the bigger problem is that this for Samsung, if you go get the app from Galaxy app, which is where a lot of people probably will, um, there's not even a prompt to allow unknown sources because Galaxy apps is already trusted. The Galaxy Apps app is already a trusted source because it comes from Samsung, and we think we know that it's safe and secure, and it should be, uh, you know, scanned with malware or for malware, and should be should be a good copy. Shouldn't be 
doing anything inappropriately or, or getting permissions that it doesn't need. So it doesn't matter whether you have Android 8 or Android 9 or whatever it is. As soon as you install it, you can potentially uh, be attacked. So according to uh, Google's issue tracker, shows a quick screen recording that how easily a user can download and install the Fortnite installer. So um, <clears throat> yeah, this is a bad one. It, within seconds, this could happen. So um, they're saying that they fixed the exploit within 48 hours of being notified. So you have to update the installer. But so they're saying you need to make sure you have installer version uh, 2.1.0. So if you have at least that version, you're supposed to be good. But we know that the next time, you know, bad guys can turn around and exploit the installer at any particular time because anybody can download the installer. And so it's not beyond the realm of possibility that this may very well happen again. So the other, the other sort of way is to uninstall Fortnite completely. And as long as your account's good, um, obviously change your passwords, turn on two-factor authentication. I just saw an article where you actually get a, uh, a free skin or something. So this is not the right article. But so, I mean, we know for months that there have been fake Fortnite downloads, fake Android downloads. Um, the only official Fortnite was on iOS up until recently. We know for months that this uh, this has been going on. People have been putting YouTube videos up with links of supposedly downloaded the actual Fortnite uh, or a hacked version or, or worse, a malware version of Fortnite. It may very well look like a playable Fortnite. It might be, but in the background, you just don't know what it's doing, so it's not worth the risk. And so... Um, just tons of complaints on Reddit, tons of complaints all over the place because uh, everybody is so, you know, quick and, and wanting to play this game so bad. And then, of course, Samsung didn't make it any better by launching the new Note 9 with the Fortnite Galaxy skin and also a bunch of V-Bucks, which we, we now know that there's sometimes there are capabilities of hackers to transfer V-Bucks and people aren't able to check because they're not on the app constantly. So um, yeah, so so this is uh, this is very very troublesome. So this is this is not going to go away. So so turn on two-factor authentication if you haven't already. You can get this crazy uh, looking skin here just jumping around if, if you really care. I'm not. I play Fortnite. It's not you know it's not my cup of tea. I'm more of a Call of Duty guy. I mean I played PUBG. I played PUBG Mobile. I'm just not into the whole battle royale thing. But so. Go into your account settings, turn on two-factor authentication, uh, get Google Authenticator, LastPass, Microsoft, Authenticator, Authy, and always never accept passwords from anybody claiming that they're an Epic employee. That just is not going to happen, and that goes for pretty much every banker. They're never going to ask you for your password. No one's going to call you and ask you for it. So anyway, I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something. Hopefully this made you feel uh, protect, able to protect yourself a little bit more against these kinds of crazy things going on. But this is the world we live in. As, as always, uh, thanks for so much for watching. Check out uh, the rest of the videos on the channel. I know it's mostly a gaming channel, but I am going to be working to get more content, more tech channel uh, stuff, more unboxings, more reviews. Uh, let me know what you want to talk about. You know, let, you know, check out the channel. Let me know what's going on. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.